5. Every day, scientists make progress in their search for a cure for autism, Alzheimer's, and cancer. And a new study could be the next breakthrough in solving a medical mystery that spans the world. Researchers right here in our area say they may have found a key to unlocking certain diseases and disorders. It's a rare gene mutation in the DNA. Fox News' Anjali Hemphill is here now to explain more on this. Hey there. Jim and Sarah, it was actually a clinical genetics lab called GeneDX right here in Gaithersburg, Maryland, that first identified this gene mutation, currently only found in less than 100 people worldwide. But that might be because not many have been tested for it. This is 12 year old Ella Butler doing one of her favorite things spending time in her Richmond, Virginia home with her siblings, older sister Olivia and younger brother Grant. When she was a baby, um, we didn't really realize anything was wrong with her until at eight weeks she had a surgery and had a feeding tube for a year. And we just thought that's why she was delayed. Her parents, Shelby and Greg, noticed Ella started missing important milestones as she grew up. Eventually, it became clear she would require special care for the rest of her life. Every day is a different challenge. Mm -hmm. um, we have to blend her food for her every day. She can't eat anything that's any more hard than mashed potatoes. She can't go to the bathroom by herself. Right. She doesn't talk. The butlers took Ella to several doctors and a neurologist, but all her testing came back normal. For more than a decade, they would go about their lives without any answers. Until recently, when they were told about a simple blood test that would look for a specific gene mutation in Ella's DNA. We've heard about the whole exome um, sequencing test, mm -hmm. and it was really expensive, and we just couldn't afford to, to do that at the time. And then last year, a friend of mine said that her insurance had paid for it, and so we made an appointment with a geneticist and had it done, and it came back that she had a gene mutation called PPP2R5D. PPP2R5D is a mutation in a gene that's associated with neurodevelopmental disorders. That leads to problems with the way the brain develops, um, and as a result of that, the brain doesn't function quite right. Dr. Wendy Chung is a professor of pediatrics and medicine at Columbia University and the lead researcher who is looking at the gene mutation in a new study. She says it's the first time they're finding it's involved with neurodevelopmental disorders like autism. It could also be associated with Alzheimer's and even cancer. All of these we know are genetic conditions in the sense that they're encoded within the DNA, they're encoded within the genes of that individual, but in all cases so far that we know of, they are not passed down from the father or from the mother. In other words, they are not inherited, but they start brand new with the individual with those particular challenges. The geneticist, when we got the results from her test, he said there's only 21 known cases in the world we really don't know much about it. Here's the Facebook group. You know, join that and see what you can get from that. The butlers were given very little information, but they ended up finding a world of support on Facebook, where a very active yet small group of other families with the gene mutation who have met from around the world. Now there's 34 families, and we can communicate with each other, you know, ask questions. Um, People post videos of their kids doing, you know, new things, and it's like a community that we've formed now. So it's so nice to have that chance to be able to talk to somebody who gets it. The butlers hope their story will inspire others to get tested for the gene mutation, which will help continue this study. Oh. <laughs> As Ella's very exclusive club is looking to increase its membership. Miracles happen every day, and... You know, this could be her miracle. So, just to see her say mama or dada would just be everything for us. This weekend, several of the families in that Facebook group are traveling from around the world to D.C. for a special conference, a chance for them to finally meet face-to-face -face for the very first time with the doctors and researchers in that study and for the kids to interact with each other. Fox 5 also plans to be there. Anjali Hemphill, Fox 5 Local News.